Get down, get down to the to the B side. beautiful people we are back 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 again tell someone to all your friends go to angela rache show is about to start with me your host angela rache oh yes honey we are about to get into it and have us a good old time we are here to talk about rupaul's drag race season 16 this is episode number one it is time for a brand new season of my favorite television show, and I am here to talk about my favorite little notes and things that I catch at the production. You see, RuPaul's Drag Race is a show that has been out so long that we, the viewers, we kind of know exactly what's going to happen in these shows. Um, the producer's really not that slick no more, um, so they be trying to come up with these twists and turns to keep us on our feet, but the reality is we've seen this show so many times, we know exactly what it's going to give for each one of these people every single time. Or so we think. So what we're going to do is sit up in here. I'm going to do what I do. And I'm going to talk about my favorite edits and favorite moments and favorite production moments from the episode. If you would like to hear my commentary on the entirety of the episode and everything through, I am on a panel, which I will be hosting on this channel um, come episode six. But until then, there are a number of other wonderful content creators that you can go follow so that you can keep up with their reviews, my reviews, as well as our group collective review. So if you're interested, please check out Really B TV, Every Reviews, El Teddy 27, Kiss My Cheeks, and Hey, that's, ooh, hold on. Let me check. I'm about to mess up this baby's name, this baby's uh, YouTube, and I don't want to do that. Let me get my information out here real quick. Make sure I get all the people's information correct. We want to shout out the people's correctly. They have invited me to be a part of this panel, um, for which I am extraordinarily uh, uh, um, honored. Honored is what I'm extremely honored to be a part of. So very, very grateful for them. So again, it is Really Be TV, Every Reviews, El Teddy 27, Kiss My Cheeks TV, and uh, House of D, all of which you can find in channels here on YouTube.com. Um, we will be rotating a panel where we will talk about the show, the entirety, everything from the moment the show starts to the moment the show goes off. We talk about all them things. But right here, we're just going to talk about my production notes to see what we see coming up for the rest of the season. So we're going to get started. We're going to get into it like we always do, start at the beginning. I'm going to just talk about these little edits all the way down to the end. So... In this episode, it's the first one we get our split premiere. So we all, as fans, know that I mean we got two episodes. We also know well, with two episodes with people coming in new. We also know that that means that people are not going home in these first two episodes. Um, and even if they did go home, they'd be coming back. Uh, we know this. This is not new. This is not surprising. But we do love to see it because we get to know the people. Um, <clears throat> so shout out to the girls. Everybody came in. They gave good entrance lines. Um, there's really only one production moment in this that I said, ooh, is that foreshadowing? Um, Y'all gave us this little clip of Dawn coming in, talking about Q, um, saying, I know Q, Q's fabulous, yada, yada, yada. I know Q makes all their clothes. It's the showdown between me and Q. And I said, oh, so we're getting foreshadowing for the, for the, the, the design challenges where it's going to be Q and Dawn in the top. Or is it going to be giving Don and Q in the bottom? Oh, girls, give it Don and Q in the bottom? Or is Don going home to Q winning a design challenge and they both in the bottom? See, that's what I mean right there. They be throwing little moments in there and we be catching it. But shout out to that. We'll see where what comes of it. I could be completely wrong, but I'm probably not. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. The next thing that they show us, and I'm really glad that they showed this to us because um, this is the thing I need people to understand happens in drag, for real. Um, us drag queens, we read each other in the dressing room. Like, the way them girls is reading each other, we read each other like that. Shout out to my sister, Sapphire Shade, right here, good old Michigan. Um, when I'm in a dressing room with her... Baby, she comes up to me and we say all of the craziness to each other. We say all kind of crazy, horrid, 
deplorable things to one another. And you better not ever walk in and say none of that stuff to either one of us or both of us going to turn and cuss you out. But that's how it works. So I'm very glad they got the show Drag Queens in natural drag queen habitat because that's how we act backstage. Backstage. Do not show up to your show and talk to these girls like that. It's not going to end well. We talking to each other like that backstage and it needs to stay right there between us. Thank you. But also, World of Wonder, thank y'all for showing the girls at how they normally act like we meet each other we start reading a little bit it ain't personal don't jump in these people's comments trying to use these reads on them it was in fun it's not for you so please don't i'm begging you all right next we move on to this mini challenge now i will say about the mini challenge um this was not a picture mini challenge y'all Ladies, this was supposed to be a personality situation. And then they gave you a whole love Connie right at the end. And y'all were like, dust. Like, most of y'all did not even interact with her. And that was so weird to me. Because they put her right in y'all face. And y'all were like, who? (laughs) But, hey, we passed it now. I can't do nothing about it. Um, I know World of Wonders is probably a little mad. They spent their money on love Connie for y'all not to do nothing with her, though. (laughs) That part. (laughs) <laughs> the next thing oh okay next we move into this talent show the talent show was cute um couple things about the talent show for one um let's talk about this order of service so this order of service today let us know that nobody was going home if you didn't know by the split premiere one you should have known by the split premiere nobody's going home today but if you did not know about the split premiere you knew by the time we got to this talent show once this order of service started because the way that they had these people lined up i said what i said you started off with somebody who was okay shout out to morphine she was okay she wasn't bad she's okay after her was it amanda it was amanda who then is getting the underdog at it because oh my god they read her all episode And she was the only one. She was the only one who caught a whole lot of fire the whole episode. The only one. I was like, oh. So you're telling us we need to look out for this girl or is she going home episode three? One of the two. And we'll get to why in just a bit. Um, So then you had, yeah. So you had Morphine Amanda. And then you had Q. Bringing up the rear of the first half. Doing excellent. And then we went on break. After a great performance. You can remember it. Then we came back with an energetic performance. Shout out to Mirage. Then we went to sleep. Somehow we fell asleep in the middle of a tropical storm with Tsunami. And then Safira. My God. Oh, girl. Whoo, you ate that. But shout out to the the producers because y'all literally set it up to make sure that we were entertained the entire way through and we really... Even in the moments we did get bored, it wasn't terrible. The one moment we got bored, because there's only one boring person um, in this episode. So shout out to the how y'all edited that. I'm interested to know if that was the actual uh, order in which the girls performed. Probably not. Probably not. But we'll take it. We appreciated a good show. It was definitely edited to make sure we enjoyed it from start to finish. So shout out to that. Um, after that, we have to deal with Amanda, like I said, catching this underdog edit. The girls was reading her boots points down. Oh my God. They read her for bits and pieces. And I mean, they read her clean through. No, I get it. Mama's runway wasn't the best. It was the best concept on the runway though. I'll say that in terms of a reveal concept, it was the only dang it was the only one that wasn't, look at this pretty outfit. Look at this other pretty outfit. No shade to the rest of y'all. She's the only one, the only one who did not give you pretty to pretty. There was a real story there. Now the execution. But that's what's going to bring me to talk about this underdog edit. Um, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between uh, and everyone who identifies as nothing, Hear me when I say this. You're going to get one of two edits from this mandatory meeting. One, she's going to make it all the way to the end. And she's going to fix her makeup. Two, she's going home episode three, four, five. 
because she can't fix her makeup. But if she fixes that makeup within, by episode three when we see her next, if the makeup is better and they say, wow, your makeup looks better, she's not going anywhere. Buckle up because we are all stuck in a mandatory meeting. So, just be prepared because Miss Mama has the underdog at it. They read her boots this episode. Even during this Raider Queen thing, which I don't know how that's going to work on episodes that are not um, no elimination episodes. Um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, outside of that, y'all need to watch out for her. We might have to see her all season or she's going home early. But it's definitely given we're going to see her all season. Um, also, based on what she gave in the, the little performance thing, Mama might even be able to lip sync. So, you know, we'll see. But, you know, shout out to Amanda. They let us know that you are the underdog girl. You are the one that all these girls are looking at sideways. And that can work one or two ways for you. I hope you make use of it. Period. So that was Raider Queen. Um, again, Raider Queen gave us more of the Amanda underdog story. Uh, it's really just a cause some drama. So we'll really see what happens with that if they decide to show the people who they voted for. Now that is when it'll get spicy. <laughs> That's when they get real spicy. So we'll see. Um, outside of that, ooh, the last thing, child, they done brought immunity back. We ain't seen immunity since season five. And then Miss Mama said, Miss Ruth said, uh, <clears throat> on a future challenge. Now here's the thing. The question is, who gets to decide what future challenge it is? Does RuPaul decide what challenge you have to use your immunity on? Or do you get to decide when you use your immunity uh, what happens if you can't use your immunity? Like, what if they, you get the Snatch Game and then people are like, yeah, you can't use it for this episode. And then you do terrible. And then you go home with immunity. Oh, girl. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. We're excited to see it. Tonight is the next episode, episode two, where my girl Hershey LaCour today will be taking the stage. I'm not going to hold you over here at this channel. I'm excited to see it. Drag Race is my very favorite show of all time. However, um, it's Team Hershey around this house. Um, I'm also very enamored by a lot of the other girls, but it's Team Hershey in this house. I I can't even act like it's not. There, I love everybody. I really do. Like I genuinely want to see all you hosts perform. I want to see all y'all perform. I want to come to a show. I hope that all of you come to Michigan, and I hope I can be booked with you, but girl. That part. Actually, let me rephrase. <clears throat> I don't just want to see all you girls and see y'all perform. I hope I can get booked with y'all girls, okay, period. And we can go turn the stage together. But that's really all my edits that I noticed for episode one. Not too many. It was a really nice, clean episode. Very clean. We're going to get into more details with this show that we did, Chasing, because this is a, a studio production, well-oiled machine. This is not a one-man band type of situation. Um, so we're going to really dig into these people's choices and thought processes um, as we can do that here um, with this production that has been out for, you know, we're at 16 American seasons, base, eight all stars and umpteenth amount of world of wonder has had so much time to get this together we gonna see if we can peek into their soul just a little bit and figure out what the edits gonna be let's see if we can figure out based on the edits who the winner or at least the top four of the season will be before the before it's revealed if y'all are interested in seeing more of this please make sure that you like comment and subscribe to my channel honey yes hit the subscribe button Make sure you hit your notification bell uh, so that you can get notified every time that I post a video or we go live over here. I am probably going to do next week's live or the week after that so I can practice doing live on YouTube um, as we all do our panel live. So I don't want that panel to be my first time trying it. So thank you all so much for being along for the ride. I sincerely apologize that I have gone so long without posting another video. The reality is, girl, uh, I get in my own head and I get in my own way. Um, and so I was not able to put out stuff because I didn't sit down to do it. Um, <laughs> I'm working through that. I'm working through being better about consistency. And so I will not be doing this again. I will be giving you every week, every single week. We're going to be here talking about this show. We'll see if we start adding other stuff. I'm kind of interested in doing commentary on like current events and stuff. Um, mostly because this Funky Dineva situation really kind of got... 
uh, as he would say, it moved me to chorus because I have a lot of thoughts. Um, so we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll start doing stuff like that. I don't know. It seems fun. So I don't know. We'll see. But with that, I'm going to get up out of here because I ain't going to take that much more of y'all time. Goodbye. Maybe if I can find them. I can never find a button when I'm getting up out of here. This is so ghetto. When is this? I'm going to learn how to end this. Ooh, it's just urban, child. Ooh, urban. Oh.